simplify your answers answer may not contain negative exponents a couple other things that it should not contain right any giant ones should be eliminated um, all of your factors should be uh, collected in one place as much as possible so let's take a look at this in this first expression I see what I do see that I have an expression 4x to the third power and that expression is being raised to the second power what that means is that I have exactly two identical sets of factors that look like that this is a 4x cubed 4x cubed and if I want I could expand that by writing it exactly that way 4x cubed times another 4x cubed and this is multiplication multiplications commutative there's not multiple terms so I'm not worried about doing using the distributive property I'm just multiplying and part of the product that I see is I clearly have a 4 times a 4 and I also see in this product that there is an x cubed times an x cubed well when I multiply 4 by 4 I get the number 16 so this product of 16 is coming from the 4 times 4 and then I also am multiplying three factors of x times three more additional factors of x. So that's for a total of six factors of x. And that is exactly what the x times 3 times x times x to the third times x to the third becomes. So my final answer is 16 times x to the sixth power. Let's take a look at b. When we look at B, one of the things that, that I see, and I think you see it, is that there, the, the numerical values 12 and 3 clearly have a common factor. right? In fact, 12 divided by 3 is 4. My answer moving forward will have a factor of 4 in the numerator. I can also see that by looking at the fact that 12 is 3 times 4. And in my denominator, I have a factor of 3. So there you can see, right? There's a value of 1 that's lurking in that expression. So moving forward, I just have x. I just have a factor of 4, rather, in the numerator. In my numerator, I have four factors of a. And in the denominator, there are two factors of a. If I write that out, four factors of a in the top, 1, 2, 3, 4, and two factors of a in the denominator, I can see that I have exactly two factors of a left over in the numerator. Um, I can see that a different way too using one of our um, exponential rules. If we take a close look at a to the fourth over a to the second, this is going to become four times a to the four is two. So because this is a quotient, because I'm dividing, I can with the same basis oops, and with the same basis um, I didn't want to scribble on find the difference in those exponents so this becomes 4 times a to the 4 minus 2 or 4 a to the second power so that's B let's move along to part C okay so in C I see three of these groups of factors have numerical coefficients. And if I look at the numerical coefficients, there is a 4 at the very lead here, a 2, and a 3. And if I multiply those, 4 times 2 is 8, and 8 times 3 is 24. 3 times 8 is 24. So I have 24, and then let's take a look at our factors of x. Um, I have two factors of x, and then three more factors of x, and then I'm taking away three factors of x. So same thing, This is I, I can show this two different ways. This is the same as x raised to the 2 plus 
3 plus negative 3 power. So because I'm multiplying, the logarithmic rule says that I can add these exponents and get the exponents of my result. So my answer should be 24 times x to the second power because that's exactly what I get when I add the 2, the 3, and the negative 3. Of course, there's, a, there's, a, there's other ways we can show that, but we'll leave this here. And then for our final question, I can see that I'm dividing 6 by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3, so I'm left with a 3 in the numerator. And then I have x to the negative second over x to the sixth power. To get rid of the negative exponent, I'm multiplying by x to the second power in both the numerator and denominator. So two, di two ideas are at play. First of all, I am multiplying just by the number 1. Right? This is the number 1. So it doesn't change the value of this expression. I'm just using it to manipulate its form. And the way that I'm doing that is when I multiply um, x to the second, or x to the negative second times x to the positive second, that becomes x to the zero power, right? So what I have here is this, in the numerator there's an x to the zero power. There's still a three times that. The significance of that is, of course, x to the zero power is the number one. So my numerator becomes just the number three when I multiply these two values. And then in my denominator now, you can see I've picked up two additional factors of x. So my denominator is x to the eighth power. And I can see that just by adding this 6 and this 2, that will give me the 8. So then our final answer is going to be 3 over x to the 8th power.